hello welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a small envelope pocket book for a journal which is basically this size envelope and it's half an A4 size I think and I'm turning it into this so let's start with the beginning first of all I take off a sliver on both sides to open up um, actually I should have glued that shut but I did not so don't worry um, and a sliver that side which means that both sides are open now and then the only thing I do is I make sure these ends um, once you cut it open you will find that it makes a opening or a little not a little um, it lifts up there in the corner so I'm just glue it down with some glue stick all right so I think I measured, let me just get my ruler, and the scoreboard, I measured from the side, um, four and a half inches, Four and a quarter, was it not? Quite. Let me see. But on that side was definitely four and a half. just to get my crease in place here we go so this is what it will look like and I'll be joining it here in the middle in the spine and then it will be an envelope booklet so let's start i've inked this one already see it's open here and open here i've inked this one already and i can start um, decorating the pages you can use any glue um, um, I'm working in this case with some vellum and I'm working with material and lace so I'll be using different kinds of glue so let me start with this one I think before I put it down I first want to decorate a bit because the vellum for one I'm planning to staple that I've got some different elements here, um, got some lace, some net, and this is actually some um, the medical swaps that I took apart a bit, they're very brittle and fine, so, well, the noise in the background, once again, is my parrot, Mumbi, who wants to be part of everything I do, so when she sees me sitting at this table, She's very talkative, very talkative. This is some fabric glue. And I think actually, yeah, let me do the fabric glue. And I'm just putting it very finely here. Yeah? As you can see, this is very, um, 
delicate to work with. So all I'm doing is I'm putting a bit of fabric glue down. I like mine to be a bit larger than the, the paper. So I might trim this a bit, but at the moment it's fine. And then let's see where do I want to put this one? I think some netting over that, maybe. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to staple the vellum in place. There's lots of ways you can attach vellum. Um, I like to staple or use brads. In this case I definitely want some um, 3D elements so it'll be staple. And then the netting once again. Fabric glue dries clear, so you're safe to use it like this. And then that one will be there. But this one, I'll just put some glue on the fabric, on the lace. I'm using a paper pad that was gifted to me by my sister in love Anna and I'm using this paper pad it's not a well-known brand and I'll show you it is cherry blossoms by paper mania I'm not very familiar with them and I'm sure a lot of people you of a lot of people will be but my idea with this project is to show you that you can use any paper you have. There's such a misconception if I don't have the latest and the best and the and the that I cannot do anything nice. It is not true. I I want to teach you actually. My idea here is to teach you to use anything you have. Um if it's well known or unfamiliar or just use what you have as long as you're creative the whole idea is to be creative okay it says joy is but the sign that creative emotions is fulfilling a purpose joy is but the sign that creative emotions is for fulfilling its purpose there you go um i think i'm happy with this one to start off with this will be my front page there you go and then I can glue this down I must just remember to watch the clock because I'm taking this video with my camera and it only records for 12 minutes and I've said this many times <laughs> and I still lost footage many times so we are at 10 minutes already only one page done Let's 
let's put that to side and I can start with second page I've already inked it to save time and I've cut some elements I have I have a general idea what I want to achieve with each one so um, yes snippets of fabric or lace is what we're going for I want this one more to the side because I actually love the picture just want to press it down a bit let me put it underneath for a few seconds so to press down then I'll show you this in the meantime paper bag tea, tea bags that I've recycled and I've just painted the numbers on them or and some of them stamped some pictures on there so I love to use them and they go perfectly with this color scheme let me cut this one to size this is also vellum you can see this um, so if I, f I find if I zoom in too close that I have some focus issues it says walk softly and leave a big impression and my 12 minutes is up so I am just going to stop and start again so I'm back I think this is down yeah enough anyway I think what I want to do here is play a bit with this this is also some of that um, swaps I think you call it swaps I'm not sure and I've tea dyed these so they're a bit more colorful and I think this one needs a backing Let's see, the trusted pack of scraps of tea dyed paper, let's use this one, it's a bit more naturally aged, love this. you guys have been safe we're in the middle of a pandemic and um, in South Africa they actually opened up a lot of shops and we on day 63 I think and a lot of the businesses opened on Monday on the 1st of June which is very fortunate for the industry I think that what I was looking for maybe I can put this over and just staple this down which is a challenge of course all good things are okay there we go and then I definitely want this one so let's put that there and uh, then something like that I think I'm taking that one out and I'll use it on another page This 
is my biggest frustration at the moment is glue because after the lockdown we can only start buying glue and products now and I still haven't come around to find proper glue can add this tag I'm going to ink it a bit to add it here and again trusted scalpel so what I'll do is I'll just put a dab of glue underneath this to keep it in place I think this one is now a bit too long so I moved it up a bit and I'm not sure this one is finished I might just add something else here, but let's see. you can either um, this is a pocket remember and once the glue is dry I'll just do the, the tab there you can either glue this one down and maybe just on the side and the bottom to make an extra pocket at the top I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave it open as a booklet so both sides is going to open I'll see how it works anyway it's a test it's a trial and error for me and for you so let's see what we got for that side I have this from an old book um, storybook it's Afrikaans um, poems and short stories and I love this and I saw the orange so I was looking at this Think. I'm taking this off. I want to put this, and then I love this. Such beautiful paper. It's so brittle and. It's proper paper, like they used to make it in the old days. <laughs> um, and I think, I don't want to lose this, let's see. Hmm. Let's try this. Paper is so brittle, you have to be so careful when you tear this. 
and it is so easily and like there going the wrong way definitely to lose the top let's see I'm thinking thinking to add the, the tea bag here and I think I'll go for that in this case I am going to use glue stick and the glue book that is a bit of a mess we just get a new page in the glue book all the instruction manual It's being recycled. Oh, hello, Yucks. Yucky, if you're watching this, I don't know why I wrote it there. I probably took a photo to send to you or something like that. Don't know. But I love you, Yucky. I better watch the time. Couple of seconds left. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then before I glue that one down I think I need a bit a bit a bit of a something there I'm gonna find something here while the video stops and I will restart again maybe I have another piece of oh, look at this hmm. this is my box of goodies stopped and we're back so i got this cut off or tear off pieces from invoicing for you i'm sure most of you know this now i've just done some inking and i want to glue this one down what i like about this this paper pad is a bit of a modern i won't say modern but not vintage at all so my idea is to show you guys how to incorporate both. Um, I'm a very vintage sort of person. I love to work with vintage items. But I love the, the other part also, the more modern or what can I call it? And colors. I mean, I love colorful not everything has to be brown and black and creams i love color so let's play a bit with this one and then of course the tea bag which is one of my favorite things to use i just love the feel the smell the idea and i'm covering up a bit of the poem which is fine I'm happy with this. And that one is going to be there.
I might forward some of, of this footage don't make you watch everything but although when I watch videos YouTube videos on crafting I love to watch the process I like to see the steps and it's entertaining <laughs> it's when I'm relaxing I like to watch videos this one I need to do something and I know exactly what I want to do yeah since that is the more vintage color page I'm going to add some of my handmade washi tape I will make a video on that also although I know there's lots of videos on that how to make that some washi and that side also how beautiful is that and then for the back let's see what we have another piece of netting put it there see what we want to do again I think I'll start with this um, there we go then this one a sticker I never put down stickers just as is I always add some glue especially these sort of projects that's um, not really protected like a scrapbook page and a scrapbook album where it is really protected in a pocket protector this is not this will be in a journal very open let's see what we can add here um got some stickers that i'm trying to use and i think let's see i got an a and an n I'm going to I, let's say, I, I see this little sticker here, I hope it comes off. saved for another day this one will need some glue so let's see And I can. Let's add this on top. And maybe some lace. No, not. Not today. Look at that, how beautiful. And then I got a little wooden heart. 
and it's shred and it's going on this page. I'll just put some pressure on that and then I want to use this tab but I think I'll first glue this down now what let me glue this down first before I put that on This was real quick. Not really, free videos. Free 12 minute videos. It's not real quick. I must be dreaming. Now let's see, where are we going to put this tab? I can't really put it here, although I can. Yes, I can and I will. Again, let's not just trust the sticker glue. Let's add some glue to make sure it stays there. At least for a couple of years to come. And I'm putting this in the back part of this pocket. Okay, so now I'll add that hard now when I'm finished. You will always be able to see the inside of this pocket. Um, if you don't like the color of your background or your envelope, then you can always add a piece of paper in here to decorate it. I like it in particular. So, yeah, let me find my punch circle punch. I still have one of the old ones. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball it here for, let's see, the middle is round about there. You must just make always sure your glue is dry. I think mine is dry enough. I think so. you will see this through the tab so if you don't like the color put something in there I think that one is a bit skewed so let's see then this baby more or less in line with that one and then you can um, Ink this a bit and also the background well in fact I decided I'm going to put something in there and I know exactly what I want to put in there and let's just get rid of that and some ink in there let's see Really finished with this video. So let's get some book page. Some book page. Is this long enough? No. Not at all. So uh dictionary page it will be. page which I can cut I'm sure this is long enough just about okay mm -hmm. 
so I finished this one I've added a piece of book page old book page in there which I love so that is our little booklet and now I just want to make two tags for these pockets so I cut this one I think this is the bigger one um, yeah I felt that this would go nicely with the blue and the orange um, so let's see what we can do here I've, I've got some pieces of paper elements that um, this is um, transparency I've printed long time ago on the transparency and also if you know my scrapbooking and if you follow my videos you will know that I like to mix and match paper and elements I don't believe in just one look I don't mind to mix and match different papers not necessarily from one range but different ranges of paper what did I have in mind here let's see what this is oh. scissors I recently did a project for a design team member of Jabella Paper. I recently did a project with the Pinocchio range. Actually, I finished it this week and I've sent it in. So I'm waiting for publication date, which is I think 30th of June only. So I can't even show you or. Oh, but I'm so excited. I loved working with that. That was, it just, and I think I, I put it in the description of the project that it took me back to my childhood days. Because I love the story of Pinocchio. I've always, always loved the story of Pinocchio. And um, yeah, it took me, really took me back to years and years ago. And happiness, it just brought good, honest happiness working with that paper. one says listen I think that we should do more listen more talk less listen and enjoy the simple things what can we add here I got this slide which I can put in there these slides are also stickers I'm not sure Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh. Told you the glue situation is out of hand. The bottles are coming apart, the glue is oozing out like there. Let's fix it quickly. There you go. And the text, the back side I leave for as a journaling option. You can use it as a journaling card. So let's see, we need a hole. Go. And I can 
add a piece of fiber in here. That'll be our pack in there. How beautiful is that? Let's just make some space here. Sunshine, warm and golden morning, making all things new. this one that we did together and then I also did the other one while you were sleeping <laughs> um, so just to show you the other one this one opens this way and this one opens this way so I completed this one I'll put nice close-up pictures for you in the video also exactly the same principle with tags there's some tags in here and then I'm now going to join these two together so I'm just going to do this so I can work on the back side and I've got a piece of calico that I'm going to join this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue um, I think what I'm doing is I'm going to put glue on the edge of each booklet. It is time for me to drift on to the unknown. Maybe I've seen too much Maybe I need to be alone But it's you who traveled a long, long way from here We had our ups and downs You've always made it clear Into the space, into the great wide open Mistakes we're lying on the beds we have 